We don't really know the scale of the problem of online child sexual abuse. What we're aware of is just a small tip of the iceberg. The internet hasn't increased the problem of child sexual abuse. The internet has contributed to uh, give a new face to sex offenders, a new space to look for children to groom and potentially abuse. Children think they know. They think they're aware of what the problems are. They feel very confident. They feel that they're safe. There is an element of danger there, so they need to be aware. They need to have a kind of code of behaviour, a code of practice, when they are online, when they are using social networks. The findings of my research had a massive impact in the sense that it really helped police officers to understand more closely and more in depth the way in which sex offenders behave online. What I was looking for uh, with Eleanor's assistance was to put some academic rigour behind what we were doing. When Eleanor first came to us in 2002, we had only just created a new child abuse high-tech crime unit. Paedophiles were moving into grooming and trying to lure children out through the net so that they could actually go direct for what we would call contact abuse. The high-tech crime unit was newly formed. I used to sit very close to undercover police officers whilst they were interacting with sex offenders. Eleanor worked with our covert internet investigators. She debriefed them and she even went as far as devising a course, a two-day training course for them to help them better understand how they could use their undercover skills and talents in an online environment to track down predatory paedophiles. Eleanor helped us through a critical stage of that transition to develop, to change our approach deploying covert internet investigators to track down those who were posing a threat to children online. Her independence and her academic forensic analysis of what we were doing and how we were doing it was vital if we were going to ensure we made best use of our resources and provide a better service to the public in safeguarding our children. It's not easy to cope with this horrible crime. From a personal perspective, it took a lot out of me. But I always remind myself that the aim of this is really to help children, to help protect children, and to help the police to understand sex offending even more so they can prevent this crime from happening. We'll never be able to cure this problem, but there is so much that we can do to prevent more children to fall into the trap of sexual abuse.